guys and gals and all my non-binary friends. So today we are going to Ohio. O-H. O-H. <laughs> so if you're not from Ohio and you're watching this video, which I don't know why you would be, uh, in Ohio, if you say O-H, someone else would always say I O back to you, which is, I think it's cute. That's very cute. Like, it's real cute. Ohio has 18 electoral college votes. Abolish Electoral College is just a way of keeping the democracy out of the hands of the many and that's the whole point of democracy so I really don't understand why that's a thing. Key dates to remember are going to be October 5th which is today. Today was the voter registration deadline. October 6th to November 2nd is going to be the early voting date so if you haven't registered by today which I don't even know if I'm gonna get this video up but if you haven't registered by October 5th unfortunately the deadline has already passed. Um, October 20th is the recommended date to have your mail-in ballot back in. October 31st, vote by mail ballot request deadline. And of course, November 3rd, which is going to be the election. And you cannot register the same day you want to vote. So the registration deadline was October 5th. So if you didn't register by then, unfortunately, you cannot anymore. If you've never voted before, if you've relocated and are voting in a new state, you can register at vote.org. If you want to check your ballot or you need to make sure that you're still registered, go to Vote Save America. Both will be linked in my description box down below. What are the vote by mail requirements in my state? All Ohio voters whose registration information is up to date have the opportunity to vote in any election from the convenience of their own homes by requesting an absentee ballot. And they recommend that you have your mail-in ballot back in by October 20th. Does my state require my ballot to be postmarked or delivered by election day? To make sure your absentee ballot is counted, it must be received by the Board of Elections by 7.30 p.m. on Election Day or be postmarked by the day before the election and received by the Board of Elections no later than 10 days after the election. If you use a postage label pur purchase at a USPS customer service window or vending machine, the date on the label is the postmark. This is the USPS recommended way to postmark your ballot. If you use postage stamps, ask that it be postmarked. What are the non-mail ballot return options? You can deliver it in person to your county board of elections, but the return envelope containing your marked ballot must be received by your county board of elections prior to the close of polls on election day. You can also drop off your ballot to a secure drop box. There will be at least one in each county, but the legal action is pending to expand the number of allowed drop boxes. Family members are permitted to drop off your ballot, uh, voter ballot. That's a great that they're trying to expand the number because in Texas, the state that I'm living in, our governor has decided to decrease the number and say that we only need one uh, drop box and for every state in every county even though we know Harris County has like four million people. You can track your ballot at Vote Save America. You don't need an ID to vote by mail unless it is your first time voting in Ohio. What if you requested your ballot to vote by mail but you decide you want to vote in person? It depends. If you received your ballot before election day you can return it in, a per in person to your county elections office or a secure drop box. Check with your state's election office uh, for their specific rule. What if I don't receive my ballot by October 20th? If you've requested your ballot but you still haven't received it, you should call your county board of elections. Alternatively, you can track the status of your ballot request as well as your voted absentee ballot through the online voter toolkit. Um, again, you can try. You can go to Vote Save America to get links to all of that. If you received your ballot before election day, you can return it in person to your county election office or a secure drop box. If you still don't receive it before election day, you can cast a provisional ballot at your polling place. And early voting day starts October 6th and includes two Saturdays, two Sundays, and the Monday before the election. If you are going to vote on election day in person, please make sure that you are wearing a mask and keep keeping a safe social distance for you and other voters. And if you see any sus people trying to intimidate, intimidate coerce people into um changing who they're voting for or getting out of lines, please call one 866 our vote Do I need an ID to vote in person? If you're planning on voting in person on election day, you do. Acceptable forms of ID includes an Ohio driver's license, a military ID, an unexpired federal or an Ohio photo ID with name and current address, utility bill, bank statement, government check, paycheck, or government document. And Ohio has 16 out of its 33 state Senate seats up and all 99 house seats up so please check out ballotpedia to find out if anyone's running for state senate in your district and to find out who's running for 
house um, seat in your district because everyone, if you are living in Ohio, every, every house rep is up in your state. So please check out Bell. Bell um, Ohio does have two Supreme Court seats up as well as 22 intermediate appeal court seats up. The judge seat I'm going to highlight is going to be the, uh, the Ohio Supreme Court seat with uh, Sharon L. Kennedy, who is a Republican that is going up against John P. O'Donnell, who is a Democrat. If you want to get more information on all of these judgeships, please check out Ballotpedia. For and if you are living in Toledo, I don't know how to say Cuyahoga, I don't know, Cuyahoga County, I'm sorry if I mispronounced it, Fairfield County, Franklin County, and Hamilton County, and Lucas County, these are your municipal elections going on this year. Please again check out Ballotpedia for more information if you live in any of these counties. Ohio has no ballot measures, and if you don't know anything about me, just know ballot measures are really my thing, so I'm kind of a little disappointed, but it's okay. My necklace says girl power, if you were wondering. All right. <laughs> and I hope that you found this video informative. I hope that you're making a plan to vote. I really, really hope that you're contemplating running for office in the future because it really is on all of us to make this work for all of us. And that means protesting, rioting, if it needs to be right, if riots need to happen. <coughs> and also not only voting every four years but voting every year and every time there is something on the ballot be <coughs> as well as being willing to do that civic duty of running for office and just you know serving your community in some kind of way shape or form take care of yourselves take care of each other wash your hands wash your face wash your ass wear a mask and don't be an asshole bye